Here's your NBC 26 update. I'm Nina Sperano. The Brewers are working out at Miller Park again today, preparing for the start of their shortened regular season. But two players are not with the team after testing positive for COVID-19. Manager Craig Council announced today that Luis Urias and Angel Padermo tested positive before last Wednesday's intake and testing at Miller Park. The players are asymptomatic and Council guessed they would miss about 10 days. Workouts will continue as planned the rest of the week. We have had two positive COVID tests prior to intake. Um, those players um, wish are agreed and have been okay with us disclosing their names. Um, and I think it's probably easier at some point if they, they're agreeable that we do so that when we get into the season, we're not playing this game of where is so-and-so players. The full Major League Baseball schedule is set to be released this afternoon at 5 o'clock. According to the latest report from the Department of Health Services, no new coronavirus deaths were reported by the state today, marking the third straight day no one has died from coronavirus in Wisconsin. 484 new cases were reported over the last 24 hours, bringing the total to just over 32,000. 70 percent of those cases or 79 percent of those cases have recovered. As part of the rebound, we continue to follow the backlog of unemployment claims in Wisconsin. Many people still have not gotten paid. Self-employed workers and independent contractors are not eligible for regular unemployment. You must apply for a pandemic unemployment assistance. The Department of Workforce Development says a little more than 10 percent of those who applied for PUA have been paid. The DWD secretary says claims are hard to process. We have to determine eligibility. We have to determine the amount. And so that's a very manual process. Tonight on NBC 26 News at 6, we'll hear from someone still waiting for benefits. Now it's time to get a quick check on our weather. We send it over to meteorologist Gino Recchia today. Hey, Gino. Hey, Nina. Temperatures today are kind of all over the place based on those showers and storms. We did get into some highs in the lower 90s earlier before the storms have cooled off parts of the Fox Valley. But we are going to continue to watch out for some of these stronger storms, potentially, as we are under a marginal and a slight risk for severe storms, some of which uh, these storms, if they do turn severe, could cause some brief heavy downpours and maybe even some small hail. As we go into the evening hours, we will continue with the showers and storms, but it does appear as you get towards midnight, that's when all the storms should be moving out, and we'll turn quiet as we get into the overnight with temperatures falling down right around 70. So for the next uh, couple of hours, still muggy and very warm, and then we'll start to cool off into the lower 70s by the morning hours, and we're tracking more showers and storms as well as the heat and the humidity, and we'll have those details coming up on our newscast this evening.